Huey, who is the creative director of the North American Design Studio, and we are standing right here in front of this very intimidating car called Energy Force, which is actually a submission for the Creative Design Challenge for this uh, for this year's show, right? Yes, LA Design Challenge competition, where every design studio in California and other studios in the world get to participate and try to create a theme. Okay. Every year there's a theme, and this year is the police car of 2025. What you see here in the back is actually the civilian version, not the police car version. This is a civilian version? Yes. I'm already scared of this one. It's got intimidation factor. I thought police were going to be chasing me in this one. The police car is going to be actually more intimidating more than this? More intimi intimidating than this one, yes. It's got this matte uh, ala beam silver paint job, okay. which is very unique. What we wanted to create was far beyond the LA Design Challenge. Yeah and try to do a design study mm -hmm. uh, of the next, what Mercedes-Benz uh, design language could be in the future. The best inspiration was actually the original G-Wagon, mm -hmm. which everybody loves. Mm -hmm. uh, it's 30, more than 30 years old, yeah. so <laughs> we thought maybe we can do a modern interpretation of Revamp it. Revamp it a little bit. Yeah. But at the same time, we didn't want to do a retro version. Uh -huh. We wanted to do something... Very futuristic. Different, yes. Yeah. yeah. Well, it definitely seems like there's a lot going on. Can you tell us a little bit of the specs about this car, how it handles, what it can do to enforce the law? Well, in the future, <laughs> we thought, you know, you know, we talk about autonomous driving. Mm -hmm. Everything is controlled by satellite and everything. That's crazy. We call it the grid. In the future, maybe the people are kind of tired of that and they want yeah. to go out into the wild mm -hmm. and go off-roading. And this is where the energy force comes in. Okay. Where even if it's off-roading, yeah. uh, we need somebody to patrol the area. Mm -hmm. So, and this is um, why we created an off-roader. Okay. And we thought the original G wagon was the best uh, candidate for it. In the back, okay, we can't see the back right now. But <laughs> the original G wagon, as you can see, has this uh, tire rack in the back. We have 38-inch wheels here, and in order to put this <laughs> wheel in the back, it would be too overwhelming. Yeah. So we came up with a, uh, a drawer. A toolbox drawer and that, and it's for easy access there's a tire rod in the back which uh, has an x on it okay and there's a mercedes-benz logo you put your hand in front of the logo there's a sensor the tire rod comes out you click it once the drawer comes out you click it what? twice you open the door the rear door is actually inspired by a bank bank vault door just because it's a big suv doesn't mean it can't be environmentally friendly so it's a very green suv yes well that's definitely a trend that we've been seeing a lot lately green is the way to go apparently mean green mean green machine. <laughs> mean green machine that's going to be the nickname for this bad boy back here well thank you very much this thank is you. one in bad boy car